participating in science fairs since the fourth grade at my school, St. Anne's School, and since the fifth grade at the Mercer County Science and Engineering Fair. One surprise for me was in testing the consumer products containing silver nanoparticles. There was not a linear relationship between the nanosilver concentration in the product and the diameter of the zone of inhibition for the bacteria and the yeast. When I researched further, I found that there could be many reasons for the lack of correlation between the silver nanoparticle concentration in the consumer product and its antibacterial effects. Um, the antimicrobial properties of silver vary tremendously depending on its size, shape, surface area, and coating. There could also be cell death by other reasons, such as differences in osmolarity, pH properties, uh, there could be presence of detergents, and there could also be antifungal effects of essential oils that are contained inside these products. <laughs> Um, so the most challenging part of this project for me was culturing the E. coli, the Escherichia, and the Daphne amina. I previously had no experience with the sterile technique or handling these organisms, so I had to learn and study the safe handling of these organisms through YouTube videos and talking to the vendors that actually supply these organisms. <laughs> I really enjoy learning about scientists who have discovered key drugs that affect the lives of thousands of patients today. So one of my favorite scientists is Alexander Fleming, who observed the bacterial killing effects of penicillin. This was the first step in the discovery of one of the most important classes of medicine today, which is antibiotics. Without antibiotics, even the smallest wounds could become fatal and he saved many of lives through his discovery. I would like to study biochemistry in college with the goal of having a career in drug discovery. I'm very curious about how the drugs we take act on the body to cure diseases and to know the mechanisms of how these drugs affect human cells. To me, drug discovery is a very exciting field with the ultimate reward of discovering new medicines to cure or prolong patients' lives. Miss Meredith Daniel has been my science teacher for the past three years at St. Anne's School. Through her teaching style, she not only makes our science lessons uh, intriguing, but very fun and engaging. I especially want to thank her for giving us such a great science foundation. And I'm extremely grateful for her mentorship in my project and for instilling in us a sound scientific method for experimentation in the labs we work on in class.